one of our great writers, Henry Lawson, is one of my favourite writers, and I'd like to sing um, the first time, really, on a big public stage, um, uh, my favourite Henry Lawson poem, which is called Sweeney. And a uh, tune was put to this by Dave DeHugo, who's a wonderful sort of uh, long-term player of squeeze boxes of all sorts and a lovely ear for a tune. Uh, Slim Dusty recorded half of Sweeney many years ago and the half that finishes off with Sweeney being a happy drunk disappearing into the night. And unfortunately, the other half of the poem is where it all happens. And it's a poem about Henry Lawson. So it's called, except Henry didn't know that this was going to be a poem about Henry Lawson, but he suspected that it might be. It's called Sweeney. It was somewhere in September and the sun was going down when I came in search of copy to a darling river town. Come and have a drink, let's call it. Tis a fitting name, I think. And it was raining for a wonder up a come and have a drink Neath the public house veranda I was resting on a bunk When a stranger rose before me He said that he was drunk He apologised for speaking There was no offence he swore But he somehow seemed to fancy That he'd seen my face before no offence, he said, I told him that he needn't mention it. I might have met him somewhere, I've travelled round a bit. And I knew a lot of fellas from the bush and from the streets. But a fella can't remember all the fellas that he meets. Very old and thin and dirty were the garments that he wore. Just a shirt and pair of trousers, a boot and nothing more. He was wringing wet and really in a sad and sinful plight. And his hat was in his left hand and a bottle in his right. We agreed you can't remember all the chaps you chanced to meet. He said his name was Sweeney, people lived in Sussex Street. He was camping in the stable And he swore that he was right Only for the blanky horses Walking over him all night He'd apparently been fighting For his face was black and blue And he looked as though the horses Had been treading on him too But an honest genial twinkle In the eye that wasn't hurt Seemed to hint at something better Spite of drink and rags and dirt He was born in Parramatta And he said with humour grim That he'd like to see the city Before the liquor finished him But he couldn't raise the money He was damned if he could think What the government was doing Here he offered I declined to self-denial and I lectured him on booze Using all the hackneyed arguments that preachers mostly use Things I'd heard in temperance lectures I was young and rather green And I ended by referring to the man he might have been Then the wise expression struggled with the bruises on his face Though his argument had scarcely any bearing on the case What's the good of staying sober? Fellas rise and fellas fall What I might have been and wasn't doesn't bother me at all But he couldn't stop to argue for his beer was nearly gone He was glad he said to meet me and he'd see me later on but he guessed he'd have to go and get his bowl filled again And he gave a lurch and vanished in the darkness and the rain And of afternoons in city 
days when the rain is on the land visions come to me of Sweeney with his bottle in his hand with the stormy night behind him and the pub veranda post and I wonder why he haunts me more than any other ghost still I see the shearers drinking at the township in the scrub and the army praying nightly at the door of every pub and the girls who flirt and giggle with the bushmen from the west but the memory of Sweeney overshadows all the rest well perhaps it isn't funny there were links between us two he'd memories of cities he'd been a jackaroo and perhaps his face forewarned me of a face that I might see from a bitter cup reflected in the wretched days to be. I suppose he's tramping somewhere where the bushmen carry swags, tramping round the wretched stations with his empty tucker bags. And I fancy that of evenings when the track is growing dim, what he might have been and wasn't comes along and trouble.